Welcome to Inca Babes, guys. This is GP, and I just wanted to show you a quick behind the scene of these mood board cash envelopes that I make. So in today's video, we will be talking about how I made these and how I'm going to be using them. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's GB from Income Babes. And this, if this is your first time joining me on my channel, welcome. I don't have that many subscribers. So for the two <laughs> subscribers that I have, thank you so much for subscribing. Okay, so in my last video, I did show an unboxing of some new stuff that I purchased to take me on my cash stuffing journey. And I did tell you in that video that I would show you in my next video how I'm gonna be designing my cash box as well as my cash envelopes. And as you can see here, this is officially my cash drawer. So I know that everyone is doing their cash stuffing videos a little bit different. They are taking little boxes and pushing envelopes inside them, but I would like to do something more on the aesthetic DIY side. So I've created my very own DIY mood board cash envelopes and I've sized them out and they fit perfectly in this acrylic drawer. Now this is usually used for makeup, but since I do not have a lot of makeup and I don't wear them as often as I used to, I've decided to take everything out, declutter this drawer, and then repurpose it for my cash stuffing journey. So there are six drawers here, and each drawer has two envelopes that I've made so far. Now for my challenge, I have created myself a savings challenge that I will be beginning next month. So that is why I have everything kind of organized here. Here's a look at of uh, two of the envelopes that I have made and I absolutely love them. I haven't seen anyone make mood board envelopes like these so I'm definitely wanting to do something a bit more creative. So this is a DIY envelope as you can see you would take your cash and you would stuff it inside here and then you would just stuff it away. So these are bigger than typical envelopes everyone makes. I believe the size of this is 8.5 by 10, which fits perfectly into this drawer. So once I'm done stashing my cash into these envelopes and all of these are filled, I do have a cash box over here, which is just another acrylic set of box here. And then I would transfer all of the envelopes and push them inside here and lock them away so that these drawers could be empty for when I start my next savings challenge. Now, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the savings challenge that I have created for myself. So just give me a minute to fix this and then I will be right back. So I did purchase myself a new laminating machine and I have officially went laminating crazy. So the first thing that I created, I did this on Canva. I do have a Canva Pro account, so I have access to a lot of different features. However, you can do yours whichever way you like. This is the first cash challenge that I will be participating in, and this is going to be for June 1st. As you can see, it is called my X5 30 day challenge, 30 day cash challenge. And you can use this for savings or you could use this as income if you want to challenge yourself to make a certain set amount of income every day. So the maximum goal for this challenge is 23.25. I did talk about this a little bit in my last or my first video actually so if you definitely want to check that video out just to get a background. So each cash challenge has six different levels. You do not have to do all of the levels. You can actually just stay at level one if this is what your budget calls for or you can just do three level ones, three level twos. In total you need to do six levels so you can choose whichever level that you like or you can go through all of the levels and I will be doing daily videos of me going through all of the levels in the month of June. So you definitely want to be subscribed for that. So as you can see here, each day we go by an X5 factor. So a multiple of five, day one is five, day two is 10 and day five, the goal is 75. Once I have finished and completed level one, I take that cash and I put that into my cash drawer and I move on to the next level. So as I complete each level, I take the cash and I put that into my cash drawer. When I'm completed with all six level and all of these drawers are completely full, I take all of the cash out in the envelopes and I push them into the cash box. And that is basically my cash challenge system. 
In addition to my cash challenge, I do have a 30 day money affirmations for income growth. So every day there is a different money affirmation. As you can see, day one, I am financially responsible and make smart decisions with my money. And each day you would come and you would say a new affirmation at least 30 times a day. So maybe you want to do 10 in the morning, 10 in the midday and 10 in the afternoon or maybe 10 at night whichever one works for you so these are actually available on my etsy store income babes i will have it listed down in the description box these are printables you can print these and laminate them yourself so that you have access to them and this is how they look as a, an a4 size okay so now let's talk a little bit about my little cash challenge pack that i created so here's what the cash challenge pack looks like this is a mini challenge card. So this same big card here that you see, I've created a mini version. And each of those days also has a card. So this would fit perfectly in your cash binder, which I will show you just in a second. So this is the mini cash challenge card. And then each level has all of the denominations on there. So that's level one, level two, level three, level four, level five, and level six. These would all go into your cash binder. So I'm just gonna go ahead and grab my cash binder and give you a quick demonstration. But as you can see here, I have multiple challenges in here. So this is my X1 30 day challenge. This is my first beginner challenge. I will be doing this after I've completed my X5 challenge. You can also see my X10 challenge, my X20 challenge, and it gets more difficult and more difficult and more challenging. This is the X25 challenge. Look at that amount. Insane. This is my X50 challenge. Again, look at that amount. Now, you do not necessarily have to make it a 30-day challenge. You can always just stick to a level and just keep doing that every five days. So five goes into 365 days, 73 times. So that's 73 cycles. So you definitely do not need to limit yourself to a 30-day challenge. And then this is the, the X100 challenge, but I ended up printing the wrong. Sorry, someone came to my door. Um, I think I was saying that I misprinted the card for the X100 challenge where you're saving $100 every day for 30 days but again you do not need to limit yourself to 30 days you can just limit yourself to a level try to do a level for five days and push yourself and go hard that is what income babes is all about we're all we love cash stuffing but we're also pushing ourselves to achieve a level of income that helps us to reach our financial goals so all of these cash challenges again they are available on my etsy store as printables but if you would like me to have these printed and shipped to you, I will be having these on my Etsy store very soon. You can just send me a message um, to my email, incomebabes at gmail, and uh, I will get an order for you. But I'll have it linked down in the description. All right, now let me just get my cash binder so I can show you how it's all set up. Okay, here is how my cash binder look. Again, I purchased this off of Amazon and I unboxed this in my very first video. So I just wanted to show you how I have everything set up in my cash binder. So I do have a mini card for the 30 day money affirmations, but this is just a reminder card. The font is extremely tiny, so I don't want you to go blind trying to see this, but this is just a reminder to read my affirmations. So as you can see, my binder has a few envelopes in here. As you can see for the first envelope that's in here, it tells me what challenge that I will be participating in for this month in this binder, okay? That's the first sheet. Then the second sheet will have the level, okay? I know I have the window open, I hope it's not too bright. So this is the level one for this first envelope here. You can choose any level that you want to be in your envelope. And then on the back, we have our affirmations. So you, each day, day one, it tells you the amount that you want, and then it tells you the affirmation that you should say that day. Again, you're, you don't have to follow my format here, but this is how I wanna do it to help me to stay on track. The next envelope is empty because once I start my cash stuffing, this envelope is where the cash would go, okay? So every day for those five days, all of the cash would go into here. And then once this is full, again, like I said, 
I would take one of my mood board aesthetic envelopes. I took that one out. I would take one of these mood board aesthetic envelopes. I would put the cash in the mood board and then just leave it in to the cash drawer. This is the budget heat sheet here that I would record all of the transactions that I've made. So for the first level one, I would definitely just write the date and I would say level one, uh, day two, and then the amount and of course the balance that's inside this envelope. And that's basically how each set of envelopes are. So this is level two. It has the affirmation card to the back. It has the empty envelope to put the cash in and then a budget sheet. And this goes all the way up to level six for this challenge that i will be participating in so i'm super excited to get started on this challenge next month and uh, i hope that you guys uh, watch and uh, subscribe so that you can see what how challenging this challenge will be i'm i'm really pushing myself to try to save that, that amount it is i don't have that kind of cash lying around it's definitely a challenge for me but I definitely wanted to start with something a little bit more outside of my comfort zone and see how far I get with it. Okay, so that is my cash binder. And that is the savings challenge that I have prepared for myself as well as my affirmations. And then I've also shown you my aesthetic mood board where I created these wonderful aesthetic cards for me to be able to put my cash in my cash envelopes. They are a little bit tricky to get out so but i absolutely love them they are the cutest thing they are they took me so long to do but if you'd like a tutorial on how you can make your own aesthetic mood board cash envelope definitely leave me a comment down in the description and i will be happy to do a tutorial for you i hope you enjoyed this video in my next video we'll be going through how i'm going to be budgeting and uh, setting up all of my accounts to help me on my cash saving journey so definitely stay tuned for that